Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different World YouTube channel. I hope you all out there are having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, you better be manifesting, planning, and preparing for a better one because I guarantee you all it's surely coming to you for sure. If this is your first, second, or third time or more to my YouTube channel, welcome. Happy to have you guys. Before you leave, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so when I drop content, you guys come into Different World and you come and learn about your girl. Speaking of coming and learning, I'm an author, motivational speaker, and CEO of my own business, Third Eye Entertainment, LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, and entertain you guys all at once. So again, first, second, or third time, it don't matter. Just hit the subscribe button for your girl, yeah? All right, you guys. So today is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everybody out there. Uh, it's the month of April, and so we're kicking it off right. Uh, April is Autism Awareness, and so as you guys can't tell by now, I'm wearing my blue uh, shirt. This is actually my mom's shirt. I'm stretching it out right now. <laughs> but um, uh, in regards to those who are on the spectrum of autism, uh, including kids, adults, uh, older people who may have autism as well, I dedicate this one to you, especially uh, somebody uh, especially in my life that has autism uh, my nephew uh, my poo <laughs> my pookie um, this one is definitely most definitely dedicated to him uh, and so in regards to those that are on the spectrum uh, this is your month this is your time to shine be proud of who you are and not hide it anybody that has a family member or a friend that is on the spectrum this is your time as well uh, for those who you know have autism or live with somebody have a have somebody in their family or friends who lives with autism or on the spectrum, you know you are, you would have some idea that um, having this diagnosis is not the easiest thing to live with. Um, and well, so I'll give you guys some background about autism. Autism spectrum disorder is a spec, uh, excuse me, is a spectrum, con excuse me, a condition related to developmental impacts uh, that can affect a person's brains, uh, percept the way they perceive things, as well as affect their sensory and social skills. And uh, they call it a spectrum because it can range from a myriad of things, from a person being nonverbal, uh, or as well as uh, they don't like to be touched. Are having behavioral and developmental excuse me, little tongue twisted today. Developmental issues, um, as well as social issues. Um, with my nephew, we found out that he was on the spectrum around three years old. We noticed it first when it came to his verbal skills around the age of. Uh, one going on two, we noticed that he wasn't really picking up on the words. It was very mumbled, and he couldn't talk. And around the age of three, it, it rarely progressed. Like he he didn't get better. So we noticed it, and uh, took him to the doctor. His grandmother took him to the doctor, and you know they found out that he was on the spectrum in regards to his verbal communication, his social skills, as well as he uh, may possibly have ADHD. And so. Uh, all praises and glory goes to God for one, you know, for, for blessing us with this child because, man, I feel that we were lucky when it comes to, you know, kids that are on the spectrum because he talks, you know, he's interactive, he, he likes, you know, interacting, you know, being hands-on when it comes to some of those kids that are on the spectrum, they don't like talking or being touched, uh, making eye contact, they're stuck and fixated on one thing, they like to repeat a lot of things and with this one here my nephew he just <laughs> he's a wild card man he, he has it all um, but in the beginning it was hard for him you know with his verbal skills and being able to express and articulate himself as well as you know with behavioral and social issues it was a very hard time for him you know going to school and interacting with other others as well as sight and sound really affected him when he was younger and he was fixated on just eating one thing macaroni and cheese and so um it was me and his grandmother most of his grandmother and my mom rest in peace to her who you know got uh, you know dug in deep and, and got proactive instead of being reactive and you know push that pride to the side you know some people when they find out their kid is on the spectrum or you know feeling like they have a developmental issue they get ashamed about it they, they become prideful and you know deny it but that wasn't the case with us you know we were proactive about it we got him into speech and uh, occupational as well as physical therapy immediately and you know kept him in there for years and you know thank god we did because it helped him along the way 
Um, now he's completely, well, he's always been verbal, but uh, he's completely articulate. He loves to tell it on you and tell you about yourself, as well as um, with his social skills. He's come a long way. You know, now he has friends. He's on the football team. He likes to play. He likes to dance. Um, his grandmother would be proud of him. That was one thing. You know, she wanted to make sure before she left this earth is that he was able to, you know, express himself and articulate himself. Her biggest fear was, you know, if something was to happen to him and he wouldn't have been able to tell what happened. And so before she left this earth, she was able to accomplish that goal and the job well done to her because he tell it all. He'll tell it only in a minute. Um, that's one thing I noticed about kids with, that are on the spectrum as well as adults. They can't really lie intentionally. You know, if it's something that they didn't see or hear, you know, you can't try to fix them to say that. So with him, you know, he can't lie intentionally. I mean, mind you, he's still a kid. You know, kids are, you know, rambunctious and like to, you know, get into things. But uh, good thing about him is that he's uh, level-headed. You know, we're raising him up to be mannerable and respectful and to respect himself and love himself and to be proud of himself no matter what. Um, he's learning, you know, we, we talked to him about it in the past, so what autism is and how it affects him. And so as he's coming of age, next year he'll be in the sixth grade, um, he's able to, you know, express himself and tell people that he's on the spectrum and what his tics are and what he likes and what he doesn't like. And so kids are more understanding to him and accepting of him because of that. And I encourage, again, anybody out there that may have a child early on that noticed the signs and, and want and, or have that feeling that, hey, something's not right with my child, I need to go get this checked out. Follow that feeling and that, and that gut feeling and check it out. You never know. Um, like I said, thank God that my mom did what she did and that we did what we did when it came to making sure he got the correct and proper help that he needed. Um, and it's still, you know, a long road to go. He still had ways to go. His father, you know, he's uh, doing an amazing job helping, you know, to raise him or and then bringing him up and teaching him, you know, the ways of life and, you know, and being a man and, and coming up. And so um, it's, uh, it's a journey to watch and I'm, I'm happy to be here and I can't wait to, you know, watch him and see him and what he grows up to be. He wants to be a paleontologist, but uh, you know how that goes when kids get older and they change. But he's always been fixated on dinosaurs, cars, um, he loves Thomas the Train. And so um, he'll be 11 on April the 8th. And so uh, we'll see like how next year as it goes. He's got him a little girlfriend now. So, oh my gosh, <laughs> we'll see how long it'll take for him to lose faith in those dinosaurs. But uh, like I said, when it comes to you know, talking with you guys about information and giving you facts, you need to hear from more than one person. So I found these two dope videos or you know, informative videos that will give you more information about autism and how it affects you know, uh, kids as well as adults. You know, kids grow up to be adults and it doesn't, the autism doesn't go away. There is no cure for autism, um, just tools and, and, and um, resources that people can use to help them cope and to manage and uh, navigate, they, navigate their ways through this life. So, check out these two informative videos, and when we come back, I'm going to talk a little bit more about what's going on in Difference World and uh, what else, you know, whatever else we got going on. But uh, here it is. Check it out. What is autism? Autism is a developmental disorder that affects the brain's ability to interact and communicate with others. Autism also affects a person's sensory information, which could cause someone to have heightened or low senses of taste, touch, sight, smell, or hearing. Because autism affects a person's sensory information, sensory overloads are a very common occurrence. During an <laughs> The rate of people diagnosed with autism is on the rise. Currently about 1 in 110 children in the United States are diagnosed with autism, as opposed to 1 in 2500 in just 1980. Boys are 3 to 4 more times likely than girls to have autism. 40% of these children will never speak a word, and 25 to 30% will learn to speak and then regress back to nonverbal around 12 to 18 months. The estimated lifetime cost to care for someone with autism is $3.2 million, the medical expenses costing on average $46,000 a year. Even though an estimated 10% of children on the autism spectrum have a genetic or neurological disorder such as Down syndrome, do not assume that all children who have autism are mentally challenged. People with autism may have temper tantrums, appear to be non-compliant or shy away from others. But people with autism are not lazy. 
it is not a lack of intelligence or result of poor parenting. In fact, people with autism are very intelligent and can even have special talents. An estimated 10 to 25% of people on the autism spectrum have savant abilities, meaning they have extraordinary skills or abilities. People with autism are loving, caring people, as well as being hardworking and dependable. They may even pay closer attention to detail and notice details that others have missed. To learn more about autism, visit AutismSpeaks.org, Autism.About.com, or CDC.gov forward slash autism. What do we look like? Many people wonder, what does autism look like? Here's an answer. We are not all men. We are not dirty or too clean. Some of us flap our arms and wear sound-canceling headphones. Some of us do not speak and use alternate means of communication. Some of us are autistic but do not show it in the ways people are familiar with. But that does not mean we are not autistic. It means we are a part of a spectrum, and every person with autism is different. Unfortunately, these things are still very hard to understand for people who do not have autism. It is very easy for people who are not on the spectrum to assume that there can only be one kind of autism, one organization, and one goal in mind. But this is wrong. As a society, we do not talk about the issues faced by people with autism. One in 68 people are diagnosed with autism every year. And because of the general lack of understanding, those with autism risk going through life feeling misunderstood, silenced, and isolated. It's time to listen, to pay attention to the people that Autism Awareness Month really speaks for, and to ignore those who paint us as burdens. To learn more on how to support people with autism, please use these sites and organizations to stay informed. All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching those two informative videos about autism and how it affects kids. I, I love the message that they were bringing in, in such of, although these kids and adults may have a disorder, it doesn't you know, discount or discredit them. They're actually, a lot of them, and you pay attention to them in their own ways. They're very smart, and especially my, my nephew, he's very keen on details and, and know, notice little things. He's very observant, as well as when it comes to uh, drawing, he can draw on the dot, you know, uh, watching these YouTube videos, <laughs> he can draw anything uh, with, with just watching it. He doesn't need to trace it. He can, he can do it on his own. And so um, don't discount people with autism. Don't discredit them. Don't look at them or push them off as disabled. You know, give them a chance to, you know, show you, you know, who they are. And this just goes to show to be open-minded, open-hearted, and tolerant of others. I'm so glad to see in today's society, we're becoming more open to being tolerant of others with differences. And um, I want to be that a part of that change and continue to be a change agent and to push forward for those out there, you know, who are on the spectrum as well as those who have other disabilities. You know, be proud of who you are and never be ashamed or embarrassed. Let anybody else, you know, put you down or keep you down. Life will come at you no matter what, but it's again on you to keep going and keep striving and keep pushing forward. Yesterday, I dropped my motivational content with Fight or Flight, and that ties into it. You know, when life comes against you, you're either going to fight or you're going to run. And so, for those out there, you know, that's fighting a good fight, keep fighting on. And for those out there who want more information about autism, you guys can visit autismspeaks.org and check out their website and look at their local resources as well as uh, the involvement you can get into the uh, autism community as well as if you guys like what I'm bringing and talking about on this vlog be sure to show me by liking sharing comment and definitely you guys definitely hit that subscribe button for your girl I truly appreciate all the love and support and interaction I am getting please keep it coming I, I, I love it <laughs> so moving on 
Don't forget, check out my website, differenceworld.net, and check out all my other social media handles, my Instagram, my Twitter, my TikTok, of course, my YouTube channel, as well as, you guys, if you would like for me to be a part of any motivation speaking event, grassroots conversation, podcast interview, anything, you know, that involves a conversation, uh, please go to my website and book me. I am free of charge as of now. Just hit up differenceworld.net and book your girl there, as well as, don't forget, my book, what if a controversial paradigm shift is available there as well you can get your copy again it's written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in america and i've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations so again be advised that's intended for a mature audience and it includes insistive content so if you can't take this key he still come onto the kitchen. Just get your little fire bucket. You'll be okay. All right? Because that's the point of it all is to have these conversations that need to be had that's often swept under the rug and people turn a blind eye to. I believe in my heart that when we have these conversations, take accountability and acknowledgement, this is where we can see, you know, systemic change when we come together as one. So that's the point of this book is not to piss people off or run people the wrong way is to get you involved and the reason why I've chose the controversial route is because I've seen no, notice that controversy you know gets a lot of attention and so once I got your attention come and learn what, am I, what I'm really talking about here with this book so again go to my website differenceworld.net and get your copy of my book what if a controversial paradigm shift yay all right you guys I know again thank you so much for all your love and support those out there that's you know buying the book that's uh, listening to it online uh, sharing their comments about it I do appreciate it, keep it coming you guys, that's, again that's the point of it all to have these conversations that needs to be had so uh, moving on with that on a different uh, train, what else we got you guys, tomorrow is Wednesday so I will be dropping a podcast interview, you guys gotta be on the lookout for that again, that's why you gotta hit that notification bell, I don't understand why you haven't done so yet, if you have not be sure hit that subscribe button and that notification bell again so when I drop these content you come into difference well and you come and learn about your girl yeah so moving on what else we got you guys lastly but most importantly we have our mental health check so let's get into it for those that may need it including myself that may be going through any type of mental anguish illness stress whatever you want to call it Please know that it's okay to not be okay, but never, ever, ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help with whatever you're going through, depression, anxiety attacks, feeling suicidal, even dealing with bullying or rehabs. Go get help for that. Whatever that may mean to you, talking with a family member, a therapist, a friend, a, 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 a pastor, getting involved with your community, you know, mending broken bridges, cutting people off. You know, picking up good hobbies, dropping bad habits, whatever the case may be in order for you to get your mental health in check and keep you from not going off the deep end and possibly taking anybody with you, do it. If you need or if you know anybody who may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 or you can call or text 988 or you can text 741-741. And for those that would prefer to go online, you guys can visit mentalhealthishealth.us or you can visit 988lifeline.org. And for those that are outside of the U.S. and like watching your girls' YouTube channel, shout out to you guys. You guys can visit ncounseling.com. That is spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G. And again, remember you guys, although I am giving you these resources, Remember, it's on you to do your own homework and your own research and find what works for best for you. Because at the end of the day, you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters. And although you may be going through a tough time right now, remember, this too shall pass and you will get through it. So whatever you're going through, it's not worth you going off the deep end. So don't do it. Okay? It's not worth it. We, you matter and we care about you and we need you here. You have so much work here to be done on this earth before God calls you home. So don't take yourself off the map until he decides it's time for you to go, okay? And so, ending it out on the positive note, you guys bringing it back to that positive vibes. Uh, again, I hope you guys enjoy listening and watching uh, those dope videos. Be sure to check uh, these guys out. I'm sorry, I usually say it in the beginning. Um, 
for those with the videos uh, their information is in the description as well as again if you guys liked and enjoyed the vlog today be sure by showing me by commenting liking sharing and definitely you guys definitely I don't know how many times I gotta say this I guess to the, to the tongue fall off <laughs> subscribe to my YouTube channel you guys I again appreciate all the love and support that I am getting please keep it coming and don't stop and remember for whatever it is that you guys are feeling that you're destined for in your life you have to manifest plan and prepare for it and and then it will surely come to you guys. Diff as well. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.